Hello everyone, welcome to Big Starred Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning to this channel today. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And of course, if any of you are interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me, all the information can be found on my website. The link is down below in the description box and also in the comment section down below. And also you will be able to find my email listed there if you want to send me an email email instead. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tapping into whatever your person wants to share with you. So we're going to just tap into their energy and see what wants to come through. We're going to see what they want to talk about, what they want to share, anything that's on their mind quite literally. All right? And we have three groups to choose from here. These are quite varied groups. Um, I was really called to just make it different and shift it up a little bit. So for group number one here, this is going to be this beautiful shell. It's this shell for group number one and group number one the deck here is going to be the Rose Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. So this beautiful Oracle for group number one here. For group number two we have this gorgeous stone, the white stone, like little chunky cuteness. And for group number two here, we have the horror tarot deck. So this gorgeous horror tarot, I absolutely love this one. I don't know what it's about, just this artist, Abigail, I think she's called, she is absolutely stunning and I am absolutely in love with her. And then for group number three here, we have the beautiful flower of the orchid. So this gorgeous purple dried flower of the orchid here. And for group number three here, we have the wisdom of the hidden realms oracle to pick from. All right, so even if you're picking, for example, group number one, group number three, where we have the oracle cards, we're still going to get tarot. And for group number two, where we have the tarot, we're going to get the oracle as well. So it's nothing to worry about. We're just going to shift it around and see what wants to come through. I want to play with some decks and just, you know, get a broader perspective on each group, depending on which deck wants to be connected with you. So it might be similar, it might be different. But yeah, with that being said, the timestamps for each of the groups is down below. As always, you know, follow your intuition. You can pause the video if you feel like you need a bit more time choosing, picking your groups. As always, you can pick more than one group for your person. You can pick for multiple people, different decks for different people, whatever you feel guided to do. It's all completely wonderful if you follow your intuitive guidance and your gut feeling on this one. So yeah, timestamps are down below. And I'll see all of you in your chosen groups. If any of you want additional videos from me, make sure to check out Patreon. We also have collective healings every single week on Patreon. If any of you want to tap into a particular team, it's a good place to join. So I'll see you all there and happy picking. Hello, group number one. Welcome to your beautiful reading today. So... For you, we have the shell here, it's a gorgeous shell, and we have the rose oracle. So we're going to see what wants to come through. I do leave this, let's say, just an explanation card here in the deck, just like as an additional card often. So you might be seeing that. And if it comes out, it does have different messages depending on it. So spirit, please, for group number one, we are connecting to their person here. And whatever messages basically want to come through from this person, I feel like this person already misses you a great deal. There is this feeling of like not really lack, but it's like something's missing from their life and it's you. It's this feeling of not being fully fulfilled. That's, that's basically the energy that I'm tapping into. The energy might be mirrored as well. So you might be feeling like that here also. 
we have the fertile void coming through. So basically the womb energy wants to be present here with you. We have inner winter, rest, patience, potency and secret beginnings coming through. So basically the fertile void, the fertile void, void is basically like just a, another way of saying the womb energy. So I feel like your person is in suspension right now. This overall feels like um, the hanged man energy where they are basically in suspension. They don't know fully what is happening, but they're being uh, repurposed, reprogrammed, um, or just sort of restructured, transformed into a different way of approaching their own physical reality. So they are currently in the inner winter. It is possible for some of you that this is the dark night of the soul moment as well, because I am tapping into that quite heavy energy with this group, especially with your person, not necessarily with you guys. I feel like you guys are doing well, but your person might be going through some type of awakening currently. Especially like just, just the energy feels like it's birthing something beautiful, but it's still dark around, you know, the, the womb energy. It's quite a dark space, yet it's filled with potentiality. And this is what this whole thing feels like, you know, secret beginnings. We have that potentiality moving in your person, but it's not explicit. It's not like tangible, you know, they can just be like, okay, this, this is the potential that I want to create or co-create in my physical reality. It's just a void of presence that they're feeling and awakening is what's coming through. They are called to rest, to have patience, but to still feel all this potency. There's, there's a lot going on here, to be quite frank. It, it's, it's simultaneously nothing and everything. And, you know, you're going to get it if you've experienced this before, because it just feels like nothing is really happening and you're tired. Um, and this, this to me, this feel like it's the void energy from the dark night of the soul. Or when you are awakening, there is this period where, where there's the void and it, it, it's experienced different by us. Um, but it does come with this sort of presence of everything and simultaneously nothingness. It's like nothing is in your mind fully. You can't fully grasp something, but it's it's still got a certain thickness to it, certain gravity to it, you know, a certain um, energetic structure to it that can be very potent here. That does indicate, quite frankly, that energy of potentiality that is always present, that's always within the universe. And it can make you quite tired. So this here it feels like this person is just going through something like that. And they're, they are quite tired at this time. Yeah. That, what else, Spirit, for group number one here? So let's see. We have the Wild Rose. Do it your way. Embrace your uniqueness and untamed. So this person is playing, <laughs> flirting is what I'm hearing from Spirit. They're flirting with the idea to just say F it to everything and do it their way. Do life their own way. I feel like they're just going through a strong awakening here, to be quite frank. Um, because this to me feels like they're realizing that what they have been doing up until now, it might not have a purpose to it. It might not have such a strong meaning as they wanted it to have. So I feel like their purpose is also getting restructured. There's this huge energy of transformation that's present here for your person right now. And it's basically what I'm communicating with here is their higher self, because it feels like their current self is just, it feels a bit numb, but it's not really numb. It's like open to nothingness which is everythingness, you know, that, that, um, concept of, um, what's it called? Shunyata from the Indian and Hindu tradition. You now that's, and Buddhist tradition, of course, Buddhist tradition. Uh, that's what's coming through here. That sort of nothingness, that is everythingness. Um, so quite a powerful, strong, period of time for your person. It's really divine. 
I, I see there's such strong divinity in this that maybe your person doesn't fully recognize or see themselves. They just might might be confused why they're feeling so tired, why they're just suddenly questioning so many things about their lives. It might be a difficult period to go through, you know, where they might even just not know what they want to do next. So there's this period of confusion, especially when it comes to having to orient themselves in the physical world, in the physical manifestation here. But they, they are becoming more solid in the sense of they're becoming more authentic. Here is what this is telling me. So the void is basically making them a new being. So what else, Spirit, for group number one? Anything else here? What's going on with our person? So just a couple of cards wanted to come through. We have the rose thread here. Um, we have grandmothers and this one also wants to come through. So it's basically a soul call or a soul gift that's happening for a person right now. We have inner call, soul led, the mystic, living courageously. Yeah, quite literally, basically, this is what I wanted to say. It's like summed up completely in those four keywords. So yeah, your person is being called by their soul to shift, to act differently, to do things differently, to do something that's more in alignment with themselves. They're being called to the, to the deepest parts of their inner psyche. This is a strong internal energy that your person is going through right now. So it is possible they're not really reaching out, they're resting, they are reflecting or, or they're just being in presence because of the energy of the void. It often just hits you with this energy. You're just going to sort of go through life and sort of drift through it and just be in this energy. It almost just feels like life and the universe is just taking you on a road <laughs> trip. Um, and yeah, we have the mystic. So the mystic is being born here. Your person is getting accustomed to these new soul gifts and learning how to live more courageously, learning how to live more from their own heart and learning how to go with their own heart more, not resist their heart calling so much. So that you are going to see shifts quite frankly, is what Spirit is saying with your person very, very quickly. So in the next couple of weeks, for example, as this energy of the void sort of loosens its hold on them and we move into a um, more solid physical transformational period, we have the grandmothers. Remember your roots perspective and trust the weavings. So what is your person trusting here? They're trusting that there is a path for them. They're trusting that everything is going to make sense in the future. They're trusting that their ancestors, they are feeling much more connected to their own um, family, to their own roots here, to their ancestors, to their elders, um, to, to the gifts that the lineage has to offer them. So overall, very enlightened perspective. Um, they might just also be, you know, really connecting with their mother or with their grandmother if she is still alive here. And there's this wisdom that's coming through here. The wisdom of the grandmothers, the wisdom of connection with the earth, the wisdom of what is truly theirs, you know, what is truly their untamed being, their untamed self. <clears throat> Next, we have anointed, the anointed, answering the call, leadership, empowerment, and soul gifts. So this is basically what your person is being called towards. And spirit wants to come through and tell you here that whatever is going on in your connection right now, it's not to be taken serious, it's not to be taken, not seriously, but personally. It's not personal. If this person is not contacting you, if they have gone no contact, it's not personal, is what this spirit is saying. It's their own personal transformation. It's not personal to what's going on with you. If this, is, if this person's lack of involvement, for example, is triggering you in any way, that is personal for you. But you know, they are not um, directly acting in that way so as to hurt you or so as to move away from you or so as to um, distance themselves from you. You know, it's not like I am choosing that type of energy. 
it's just the void the winter is there and the winter we sort of reflect we we hibernate it's that energy so let's see now what else wants to come out So yeah, Spirit is basically wanting you to know that if you have triggers, those triggers are your own guides towards what you need to just recognize within yourself, what your soul wants you to look at. And this person's actions may be a gift in that way, so as to really allow you to see your own perspective on this. We have self-fear going on here, yes. Your person is afraid of themselves, what they might do because they are tapping into this untamed energy, this strong energy. So they do feel a sense of fear towards themselves, like they don't fully know themselves. Just feel like something flipped through or didn't, didn't it? We have the inner child, wow, beautiful. We have serve others, yes. So what's coming through with soulmate on the bottom of the deck? This person might be your kin dread soul or just a soulmate of some kind maybe you're not twin flame for some of you but they're definitely someone who is quite deeply related to your own soul or connected to your own soul here so we have the inner child <laughs> that's interesting because just um lately we've do i've been doing just healing with people on patreon on the inner children aspects so that's cute um, that's interesting. So they're finding their own truth. They're finding their own purpose here through the inner child, through really just coming in contact with what is truly theirs. You know, what is truly theirs? What is not something that's what that was sort of built in them by society or built in there by their parents or by their friends or by their people around them, you know, by the media, whatever. They are truly recognizing what is truly that one thing that makes them them. We have serve others through this understanding they're recognizing they want to serve others more fully or or in more um with more heart is what's going on here so basically you know group number one if you're still here this this whole reading is intended from spirit to help you understand where your person is at at this time what's going on with them that's that's what it's intended to be we have fetish so it's also an energy that's quite sexual this person is tapping into um attraction towards you with the fetish attraction that is quite intense because we do have self-fear here as well so they might be just surprised at the intensity that they're feeling loneliness as well we have soul family again on the bottom so we have that uh, soulmate energy we have soul family here and we have loneliness so i feel like your person recognizes you are their soul family and they feel distant from you because of the circumstance you know the circumstance is going to be different but they feel this not really detachment they, they feel this distance you know they want to be connected though their soul is wanting to be more connected you know it's their truth it's what the inner child wants as well they want to be connected and through that connection have that safe container through which they can allow themselves to serve others then so let's see now we're going to use the cat tarot finally moving into the tarot so 15 minutes later you know it's like that SpongeBob energy. 15 minutes later, we're going to move into the tarot and finally get more substantial information. So group number one, what else? Here we have the seven of swords. So yeah, it's the energy of holding back. It's the energy of withholding. Um, this person feels currently like they're still wearing a mask. We have the Six of Swords coming through next, but they are on the journey towards a new beginning, towards something new here. What else do we have here? We have the Four of Wands coming through reversed. Um, this energy does, does feel a little bit like they don't know 
what they can expect or what they even want out of a connection with you. You know, they know they get set, get, they are satisfied by this connection. But at the same time, they don't know fully what they want. We have the Five of Wands reversed here as well. That's interesting how it goes. Six, uh, seven, um, six, four, five, you know. <laughs> That's interesting how that went. Um, the Five of Wands is here because they are just in one stream of energy right now. They're not experiencing a lot of, let's say, even passion or a lot of vigor to move forward. So this feel like they, they're quite, I don't wanna say stuck because a lot is happening in them right now. So it's not a, an energy of stuckness, it's an energy of stillness. It's an energy of creative stillness um, with the void. So yeah, this, this stillness where they're still sort of wearing a mask in society because they do need to function somehow you know your person might have a job they can't just stay home and lie on the ground and be like what the hell is going on with my life they do have to function in some way because it's expected of them to do so which might in fact be quite profoundly hurtful since it's all this you now all this energy is happening um where should i put this so I'm just going to move these things a bit more to the center so that you can see better. I don't want to close the grandmothers though. So the seven of swords here, but also finding light, you know, not being afraid to make those rips happen, not being afraid to tear things up a little bit just to get that thing out you know, and to get themselves to a more um, aligned way of living, aligned way of thinking. So they're moving ahead. They're moving to something new. We did have that energy of the hanged man there before as well. <clears throat> so with this one, there's confusion in regards to the structure of this connection and not knowing what they can expect out of this connection anymore. They feel a little bit confused. Um, they are sort of playing with what could I expect? <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is just doing a thing. What could I expect from this connection? It's like that type of wonder, curiosity here. And at the same time, it's, it's a little bit like, I, I need to sort of do this right now. It's, it just feels like they're so called to do this and it's not even called it's like they are even almost like forced to just be in the void be in this fertile void energy that they can't right now move and do things you know it's also this energy of the five of wands reversed here it's not it's not movement it's not expansion it's not um it's not shifting energy or moving energy forward it's more like stability What else for group number one, please? What do they want them to know, please, Spirit? This person also wants you to know that they're afraid that they might lose you. They are really afraid that, you know, they are taking so long that things are just going to go south um, for them. Just not going to go well or go north. I don't know what's the expression anymore. Um, it's, it's like that energy of not knowing where, where they can land with you. We have the nine of wands. There is a lot that they feel like they have to do and they they feel quite fulfilled with you, with the ten of pentacles. So they do foresee this energy of harmony with you. They, they feel like this connection really has their back in some way. You know, like, like you're always sort of there. This might also just be something that they are feeling um, because of this void energy, they might also have a feeling like you're already with them in soul, in spirit, which you guys might not even be aware of because it's your higher self, it's your higher soul energy that is in contact with both you and with your person. Um, so it's it's like, especially if you're a soul family, that is the case. So it's it's like they feel fulfilled, they feel taken care of by this aspect of you. 
and it's going to feel similar to your energy but also a little bit different to your energy they're still going through a lot with the nine of wands here you know it feels like the energy is completing itself everything is feeling like a lot of pressure but at the same time it's nothing really happening you know so it's like this this weird twisting energy where it's simultaneously nothing and everything all at once and we have the devil reversed so they are trying to stay afloat through this energy there's still occasionally some glimpses of addiction that cropped up for your person some glimpses of their past self that just means their habitual self here the the devil here does represent their sexual urges that are not aligned to the highest timeline for them as well that are not fully aligned with the higher self as well that sometimes crop up and just sort of express themselves uh which does make your person a little bit squeamish especially like with this fetish being here i feel like they do feel sexual urges towards you that they are a bit unsettled by um they feel like they want to express them but at the same time they are trying to be they are trying to be temperate um they're trying to practice strength they're trying to practice harmony they're trying to practice restraint here as well you know how they can get their need met for example how they can drink the water but not eat the fish that's what they're wanting they, they want harmony internal external harmony and that is that's basically the role <clears throat> here that they are practicing what they're practicing is um a certain disillusion of the ego and not following into the thought patterns of their past self. We have the Hierophant underneath the deck. So finding that energy of stability here, finding that energy of groundedness, finding that energy of wisdom through these times is their purpose. Right, so this this is basically a whole reading into what's going on with your person, and this this is basically what they want you to sh want you to know, what they want you to be aware of. We have the Capricornian energy, Sagittarius and Taurus coming through very strongly. In case that resonates for any of you, it can be the big three for you guys. You know, the rising sun or moon, or just strongly featured in one of your charts doesn't have to be though so just if, just an additional little information so let's see now what the messages are i'm open and ready hmm. this this one feels like they are open and ready but spirit is like like not really like they are still going through this strong potent transformation this person might feel like yeah i wanna try i wanna begin but they're still healing they're still going through it so, you know, your person, like, they might have their heart open towards you more. Um, because of all the green here, I am tapping into that energy of their heart being more open towards you. Their heart being more um, available to you as well. So if you do want to come through towards this person, your person is going to meet you with a lot more generosity, with a lot more of an open space, an open spirit. Especially if maybe in the past they have been a little bit closed off. I have had intense dreams about you, so they've been dreaming about you a lot. Recently, they have been connecting with your energy and the astral. You have me spinning, yes. So your energy has them spinning, but overall, they are already spinning. So it's not just you, you are just a part of that spinning energy. Um, I'm grateful for you, so that's beautiful. What else, spirit? you're missing from my life yes so definitely th this energy of you're missing from their lives is definitely strongly present that's the energy that i initially felt and oh my god look at the life being a little bit messed up here <laughs> which which just does speak strongly towards this void you know their life sort of being a bit drifty I'm so busy right now, but I'm into you. So they're going through a lot right now. This busyness here, this can indicate that energy of the void also. No, not just the physical busyness. 
business in terms of job or in career or with their life in general you know it just indicates a lot is going on here they have a lot to take care of you know a lot of this stuff to go through a lot of string to chew almost like so i know we are soulmates coming out wow beautiful so yeah they know there is something important going on in this connection they do have their that awareness and they want you to know that they are into you, even though they're a bit distant i need to do some more self-reflection is coming through here what else spirit you are so good to me we have the eye contact we share leaves me shaking so they feel this immense amount of connection to you immense connection oh you're so attractive yeah by the way i'm going to do um a video on what they find attractive about you i haven't done one in so long so really really wanting to do that i feel safe with you so that's cute you know they feel safe with you they feel um like they can be themselves with you they can be vulnerable i am seeing signs everywhere so yeah spirit is really just hitting this person with a lot of awareness at this time and that's going on that's what's going on for them um anything else like should i do something else here for group number one let's just get you guys guidance so we're going to use the sufi tarot to get you guys some guidance here so spirit please for group number one guidance please for them for this connection currently like the current state of this connection current state of the world we have the daughter of swords coming through reversed um, we have the mouth so also transformation move into the light this is the energy of death on the bottom of the deck here so spirit wants you to work on yourself here with the eight of coins as well spirit wants you to do the hard work to to just sort of push yourself forward so what this is telling me so daughter of swords energy it's reversed which does indicate to me a sense of maybe lack of focus or muddled thoughts or the inability to fully access your soul or heart knowledge so spirit here wants to bring your awareness back to that curious mind of the child the curiosity that you once had as a child that maybe you've forgotten or maybe there is just something going on in your life that is giving you more muddled energy or muddled thoughts or inability to fully access your heart knowledge but basically the spirit wants to align you wants to remind you that you have this youthful questioning mind within you already you know you are someone who is in your mind unafraid of life and not at all jaded by life you know there is a part within you that is young that sees the world as exciting and full of mystery and that's something that your spirit wants to bring back into your awareness at this time so basically with this card you're being gently guided to the difference between intellect and wisdom here as well you know uh, for example the sufis describe intellect as the door to eventual wisdom in your life so the intellect represents the mind and wisdom represents the heart and both are needed to achieve balance of the inner and the outer world so for example the intellect might be limited to exoteric knowledge of the mind while wisdom related to the esoteric knowledge of the heart knows no bounds um, and to find what lies behind that realm of fabric so it requires intellect and to delve deeper into the truths of your own heart requires a different type of questioning so it's important to understand when to use intellect and when to sort of cut through things such as this fabric of the universe and when to understand and sort of gently touch it like almost like feel into it with different levels of understanding which requires wisdom 
right? So basically, you are reminded here to work in harmony with the questioning mind and your believing heart, you know? And also you can ask yourself, for example, you can contemplate the following. Uh, in what place do you have intellect but lack wisdom in your life, especially maybe in this connection as well, or in this current situation that you're finding yourself with this person? In what place do you have intellect but lack wisdom and vice versa? In what place do you have wisdom but lack intellect and how can you move towards it, right? Also, what you can contemplate here is what is your inherent curiosity in this life? What do you want to do? What do you want to move forward? What, what sort of gives you that energy of wonder, you know, that energy of, whoa, what's that? I want to explore that. I want to see what else is out there. That's the energy to focus on, my love. So with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being a part of this beautiful energetic transmission. It's been a pleasure connecting with you and your person today. Now, forget to like comment share subscribe if you haven't yet comment down below to share your thoughts such a pleasure to always connect with you guys if you want a personal video the link to my website is down below in the comment section there's also my email listed there and also in the description box if you want to check that out send me an email check out my website whatever you feel you need to do if you want additional videos and if you want to tune into the collective healing energy that we have on patreon every single week do make sure to join us over there as well we would be very happy to have you join the tribe and i'll see you soon in the next video hope you have a beautiful day hope this video was helpful in just revealing certain things that are going on with your person and i'll see you soon in the next video my loves bye hello group number two welcome if you have picked this little stone the white stone such gorgeous cute energy it's holding i love it um and if you have picked here the horror tarot deck so this gorgeous horror tarot it's got a bit of shine to it so we're going to get into it we're going to see what wants to come through for your person today what messages they have for you here i'm going to tap into their energy i feel very soft today you guys the weather is cloudy outside it's very sort of foggy cloudy it feels like very comforting it feels like it's time to go within and really tap into certain things so i feel like really wanting to just give you a deep dive here to see what wants to come out so let's see group number two my loves let's see what your person's going through what they want to share here so we have the seven of wands coming through reversed. We're just going to take a couple of cards here and see what else wants to come out. We have the eight of cups reversed, wanting to return to you. We have the chariot reversed, so all the reverse cards, all the reverse cards. We have the six of pentacles in the upright now coming out. What else here? We have the ace of cups reversed. So there's this energy of not being like fully in alignment. Wow, we have the Knight of Cups here. Um, we have the Knight of Wands reversed and the Two of Pentacles upright. Okay, so just going, we're going to go through this energy and then see what else wants to come through. We have the Empress here on the bottom of the deck. So it feels like something is being created here for your person. They might have found themselves in, in an adverse situation with the Seven of Wands, which they can't fully understand. And they, they feel like they can't fully move forward. Um, there, there's this interesting energy to this one. It's like not like they are fighting their circumstances. But but finding ways around the circumstance, it feels like, you know, the seven of wands here follows the six of wands, which, which is victory. And the seven of wands does represent a challenge to that victory, a challenge to the good times, for example. So it does feel like this person has encountered a certain challenge on the road towards this connection or towards you or just a certain new challenge in this connection as a whole or in your relationship. But they are not 
fighting against it, they're like not pushing against it, um, they are using wit and wisdom to sort of navigate their way through it. It's what I'm getting here. Like they are not, they're not resisting the obstacle, for example, if we consider these little lines here obstacles, they're not resisting those obstacles, but they're finding their way to them almost like, uh, almost like an expert skier, you know, just move through it, like move through it. That's the energy here. Um, they, they don't fully understand what is happening and why things are happening. They are in this energy of lack of taking action or lack of higher understanding. Um, but at the same time, they, they're sort of moving through the flow. They're moving through life, not resisting what's coming up for them. With the seven of wands reverse, what I'm getting here. With the eight of cups here, they want to return back to the way things were or they just want to return back to this connection because the energy is reversed. They don't want to go into new uncharted waters, but they want to return back to what is solid, what is um, known to them here. Yet, like, what did the chariot reversed? It's got this energy of, of not really having the, the higher viewpoint of what's going on, not, you know, being able to see the forest for the trees. This person feels like they are deep into the forest. What in the seven of wands here, they're deep into just sort of navigating their life, going through this, this um, trunk and that trunk, you know, they're not taking their, their perspective off and having a more observer mindset. Here is what I'm getting. And this they might not be, you know, taking very um, intelligible actions. They might be taking confusing actions towards coming back here. Th this person might be acting in confusing ways as what I'm getting with the chariot reversed. Just, just not in alignment fully with the higher perspective. Um, feels like there is a bit of a lack of direction, lack of control, or just there is an ability to overcome obstacles, but it feels like they're just in the midst of the obstacles altogether here. So what else do we have here? This, this energy is a little bit muddled, a little bit like what's really going on? Uh, it is possible that they themselves don't fully know what they want, where they want to go because of this lack of direction, because they're sort of like just surfing the waves. And sometimes the wave of I want to reconnect comes up and then the energy of I don't want to reconnect right now comes up. And, you know, they're sort of, for lack of a better word, they're almost like a slave to their current mood is what this is telling me, especially like with the Ace of Cups reversed here. So we have the Six of Pentacles next. With the Six of Pentacles, it's giving me an energy of wanting there to be a good energetic exchange between the two of you. This person wants to be fair towards you. They want to be fair towards themselves um, in the physical, in the physical exchange of energy. Um, they don't want to do things that would hurt you or that would put you in jeopardy or vice versa, that would put them in jeopardy or hurt them. So, so they're like, okay, I need to, I need to get clarity. It feels like they are attempting to find this clarity in the physical as well. While they should be, spirit is coming through and wanting to just point out they should be going both ways. They should be going to the upper world by finding this more objective perspective here and into the physical and they should work towards uh, sort of their improvement with the higher realms because it feels like that's the that's the confusion where when it comes to this whole scenario them not connecting fully with the distance uh, from their physical egoic self so that's where things then might get a little bit messy for them because it feels like this person is just fully going with their um you know, physical perspective and they're not de detaching enough to be able to get to that more um, objective viewpoint of their own uh, life, of where they're heading towards. 
yet it it feels like they are wanting to balance things out here they want to have a good balanced relationship with you which is their intention is what i'm tapping into here with the ace of cups reversed it feels like they are spilling their own cup to be quite honest it's like it's like they're not taking energy in from the universe they're just like pshh, almost like taking their own cup and being like, yeah, I'm going to pour this out. It's like, what the hell, why? And spirit is like, why, why, why would, why would you do this? What's going on? You know, why are you doing this? And this person doesn't have a good answer to that. That's the energy here. It's like, I don't know. I just felt like doing that question mark. You know, it's like, I don't know why I, I just felt like it. Just this, just this weird energy of being stuck something in like a, a certain pattern here that they also can't quite fully explain to themselves, you know. Um, with the Ace of Cups reversed, there is this possibility that this person feels quite a bit closed off to you at this time. I am tapping into that because, because of that you know, just that lack of direction, lack of the detachment from their own physical incarnation. They are a little bit stuck in it. Um, and through that energy, you know, they're not connected to an openness heart, an openness, living from an open heart. Um, this might also indicate unrequited love, like feelings of unrequited love. It's interesting though, because next we have the Knight of Cups, which feels like this person wants to come towards you. And with the Eight of Cups, it's also like they want to come towards you. And want, they want to achieve balance again with the Two of Pentacles. They want to reach out quite literally and want, they want to receive balance. They want you to know what's going on with them and vice versa. They want to exchange information. But they're like in this lack of vitality here. And they feel like it's got, you know, this relationship, it feels like it's it's unrequited in some sense from their perspective. But at the same time, they want to reach out and make it happen anyway. So it's this weird, just imbalance, you know, just the energy doesn't quite fit together type of feeling. Because we do have a possibility here of also repressed emotions, you know, not sharing what's really going on with them or just what's coming out is just, again, where I'm returning back to this chariot over and over again, just because it's a major arcana, it's sort of coloring the whole reading as well as the empress here. So it's got this energy of not having the higher perspective and that's the problem, that's the main issue here you know, and that's why this person might have repressed emotions because they're not even seeing that because they're so stuck in the weeds with the seven of wands. They're so stuck in the weeds and just sort of navigating their way through it, which is, you know, they're doing good. They're not resisting, which, which is a good way of being from the spiritual perspective here, at least. But like with the Ace of Cups, it's just got this repressed nature to it, you know, not not coming through and being like, I want to offer this or I want to share this with you. It's like they are res they are not coming through with that energy. Um, they might be disappointed here as well. And overall, just not guided by their heart center, which can lead them to feelings of unhappiness. You know? But then again, we have the Knight of Cups, which is like, I'm losing my head over you. I'm losing my head over this connection. I've lost my head to you. I am lost now type of energy. And this just talks about this person being a romantic, a dreamer. Um, it also talks of someone who is in touch with their emotions of love towards you and someone who wants to reach out. So it's like a conflict. It is also possible, like I'm just tapping into different aspects of them here you know there is maybe an aspect of them that's like okay i'm going to repress all of this maybe mm, let's just let's let's just randomly just express this and see what's going on so i'm going to clarify the ace of cups because i want to know so ace of cups spirit what's what's going on why is it reversed and why is this knight of cups then upright thank you we have the four of pentacles 
holding themselves back, not allowing themselves to express. So it's again that energy of repression, that energy of the miser, you know, not giving off energy, almost like looking at this and being like, oh, wouldn't it be nice if I had this, but I don't really have it. It's like living from this place of lack and feeling like either they don't deserve it or they don't have it or they will never have it. It's like that overall disappointment with life is what this is feeling like. And at the same time, it's like, but yeah, I can have it. Let's just clarify the Knight of Cups here as well. Spirit, what's going on? Like, tell me, share with me. What's going on here? We have the Four of Swords. So they are reflecting whether or not to come towards you. They're thinking about this. They're playing with the idea of coming towards you. And almost like counteracting this idea inside of them that's like, yeah, I'm not worthy. I, I will never have this anyway energy. So so it's like this this energy of putting themselves down quite literally and being like, yeah, but I can also choose differently. You know, this, this energy of reflection, contemplation, that's like, yeah, but I can reach out. You know, I have that possibility within my reach and I want to do it. So we have the magician on the bottom here also, which does just indicate that, yeah, they want to do it. They want to manifest a different way towards you. They want to manifest differently. They want to be more in line with themselves. Yes. With the Knight of Wands reversed, we have this lack of just lack of self-control again. Mm -hmm. This person might be a bit reckless. Um, just also with the chariot um, that's present. Yes. They might be a bit hasty as well. Um, just la lacking that self-control again, you know, lacking the self-clarity. Here, uh, they might act out of impulse occasionally towards you. So overall, just not aligned. Uh, I feel like this person is a bit of a mess, you guys. And yet they are trying. It's like they are a mess emotionally, energetically, like there's a lot of energy in this and yet they are trying. So we have here the two of pentacles. So with the two of pentacles, we have this willingness to juggle stuff, willingness to get towards things, juggle, finding balance, trying to be flexible and adaptable in change. Um, and we also have this energy of like unexpected events happening. So I feel like this person is going to reach out and they might even reach out in an unexpected way or you might encounter this person in an unexpected way in your next few days or weeks even for some of you there feels like there is a need to share each other's energy here you know there's a need to reconnect here and there's a need to stabilize your energies it might have been that you guys have been like separate from each other for quite a while and there's this mismatch between the two of you mismatch a mismatch of energy and just a lot of overthinking that has gone into this connection um that's like making this person feel like maybe i don't deserve this maybe this is i'm not good enough you know maybe maybe this maybe that uh, maybe i just you know have to work harder or loosen control it's just this a lot of maybes that are attached to this relationship right now and it feels like it just needs to be wiped clean it needs to get a clearer slate of energy which can be achieved by your energetic exchange by you actually you know sort of meeting in the physical so what else here we have the empress energy with the Empress energy, there is the energy of something new is coming into existence at this time. Something new is being birthed, a new energetic stream, an energetic encounter is being birthed at this time for your connection. Um, feels like it's an energy that's under the surface of it all, doesn't really feel like it's very present, especially if your person is not quite... Um, quite 
in this mud of mess, you know, uh, they're not going to be able to pick up on this, but it's still nevertheless an energetic presence here. There is an energy of femininity that wants to be connected to the two of you. Just, just gentleness, just more energetic surrender. Um, this person does find this connection beautiful though. It is, it feels like it has allowed them to reconnect to their intuition because we do have a lot of moon energy represented. A lot of like dark energy, darkness, especially like moon, light. And it, it feels like it's got that feminine pull to it, like allowing your intuition to guide you. And it feels like this person has taken that road towards allowing the intuition to guide them, which has just overall led them towards a confused space. Just because, you know, too much of the moon that's not counteracted with the sun does make, doesn't make a balance in the energy. So what they're trying to do, they're trying to reestablish that balance here. Uh, with the star here, we have the star reversed. So with the star reversed underneath the deck, we have this feeling of, again, disappointment that's, that's connected with the Ace of Cups, disappointment in love. Or just a feeling of doubt, disconnection from one's higher self again, feeling maybe a little bit burnt out also, you know, not knowing what to do, uh, not knowing where to be pointed to, not knowing where the true north is for this person. So it's like that feeling of being a little bit lost in the darkness because this person went on to follow the moon and they feel a bit lost in the darkness because there is no sun there. We do have the ace, uh, the sorry, the three of cups here present reversed. So with the three of cups reversed, I am tapping into that there might be some blockages in relation to a third thing happening here. There is possibly an imbalance in your social lives here to some extent, or just there's another person present, or there is another um, energetic connection here that is present, that might be taking this person's energy, that might, might not be allowing them to fully connect emotionally with you. So there is maybe that, again, unrequited love here present for you guys because we have this card. Um, it's almost like, you know, there's maybe a third party here. Maybe you have a third person even. You watching this video, maybe you have a lover or you have a partner or, you know, maybe even just your person has a partner and you have a partner or else it's something else altogether. You know, it can be also something that is just emotionally important to this person, such as their work situation or maybe even children are involved for some of you here. There can be a lot of things. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a third party, but there is something else here that feels like it's not fully in alignment. It's maybe contributing to the energy of unrequited love in this connection. That's sort of taking things off center a little bit or just making this person doubt whether or not this is supposed to happen or whether or not it's going to happen. You know, it might also indicate troubled relationships in some way. Like maybe this person is strugg struggling with an important connection in their own lives right now, which is why they can't fully focus on you even. Or it's just, it's this connection that is troubling them at this time. It's like this connection is a troubled connection from their viewpoint at this time, right? So I'm going to stop overthinking, over rambling here and just see what else. We're going to use the keywords just to see what wants to come through, like one or two keywords. Spirit, thank you. So we have two cards. We have completion and other circumstances. Yeah, like they feel they are headed towards completion, towards understanding. I'm just hearing fake. So Spirit is wanting me to tell you that they they think they're heading towards completion you know towards reaching out towards you and being like yes this this is what i wanted but it's it's again like it feels like it's fake it's not going to be the end that they are hoping it's going to be you know it's not going to be the solution to their problems that they're hoping it to be maybe this person is going to reach out to you and they want that to be the solution to their problems but it's not going to be is what spirit is telling me 
So we have other circumstances here present as well. So there are other things going on that you might not know about group number two. You know, just circumstances in terms of their other relationships, circumstances in terms of their family, uh, health, just maybe their work situation or something else entirely, you know. Other people are involved here. Yes. Like other people in terms of third party, in terms of just other people at the workplace that are maybe just shifting this person up a bit. We have passion and attraction. <laughs> so what Spirit is saying also is this person is attracted to you. They, they feel passion towards you. They feel lust towards you. They want you. They want to be around you. And, and yet it's like, uh, how, how do I do this? It's like, how do they do this? I feel like this is strongly on their mind, especially with the Four of Swords being a companion card to this Knight of Wands, uh, Knight of Cups, sorry. So how do I want, how do I get this romantic connection to be a part of my life is what they're asking. You know, they, they feel like they've lost their head over you <laughs> and they want completion here. They want to understand, they want this to just sort of reach a certain energy of finitude. That's what they're at least hoping towards, but it's not going to be that. We have victory on the bottom of the deck. So it feels like the prognosis spirit is saying is positive, but there's still some outlying energies here that need to be settled. So let's see what your person wants to communicate, tell you. So let's get a couple of messages here. You have my heart. What else? We have, I am planning to return to you. Yes, we did have that. <clears throat> so what else? We have true love here. So they, they are seeing truth here in this connection. Um, okay, so we have a lot of things. We have, I trust in you. We also have here, the eye contact we share leaves me shaking. So this feels like it's a strong energetic connection between the two of you your person is feeling. And I have also here, um, I have a lot of unexpressed feelings for you. On the bottom of the deck, we have I love talking to you. So this person loves connecting to you. You know, their heart is in this. But it feels like things are in the way still. And they're not accepting that. They're not accepting that things are in the way. Um, let's just go on and just give you guys some guidance now in terms of this connection. Feels like it's it's quite a lot, you know, to, to work through. It's quite a mouthful, you know, to, to eat. Like you bit off a lot. You both bit off a lot when you sort of chose as souls to endeavor in this or just as physical beings, you know. But it's what you guys chose as well, you know. It's It's got lessons in it for both of you that you're going to overcome. It's okay. You know, just have faith. Spirit is saying there is going to be victory here, so... There are good things coming. There are good things on the horizon for you guys. So let's see now, Spirit. We're going to use the Supi Tarot here for your guidance. Group number two. What wants to come through? We have the Shove Cups coming through for you guys. So this is the energy of the King of Cups. We do have the Malik of Cups, which is the energy of the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So there feels like there is an emotional bond here between the two of you that Spirit wants to bring to your awareness. And Spirit overall wants you to be more in contact with this more solid, stable, energetic space within you, right? So what the spirit wants you to do, to be in a more mature headspace in terms of your heart as well, in terms of how you're feeling in your emotional realm, to not be afraid to listen to your own heart here, 
you know, the King of Cups energy is here to tell you that, you know, you need to take time out to tend to your own spiritual needs and to the wisdom of your heart, to really tap into your heart, to listen to your heart. Like quite frankly, just put your hands on your heart and tap into that energy of your heart. Feel what your heart wants you to feel, you know, what you want to connect to here. This energy is someone who is a kind soul, is someone who is a leader in terms of, you know, the harmony of heart and mind. This person is spiritually wise and calm. And this is who you are, group number two. So this is someone who's a good listener, a nurturer, and someone who is the ultimate supporter. You need to allow beauty within and without you to merge and take new forms in your own being that you can then share with others, be it with this person or with someone else in your life, whoever comes on your path, even if it's just a stranger that you share eye contact with. So Spirit is wanting you to know that you are drawn to a higher purpose and you need to learn to succeed in the physical world without being consumed by it which also goes for this connection. You need to sort of work through it without being consumed by it, which also is, again, practicing that energy of being emotionally balanced, mature, having compassion, while at the same time not being overwhelmed by it. Being in touch with things, but not sort of engulfed in them. All right, you're being led to heart-based living and being reminded that peace internally translates to an external form of healthy power, right? This is the energy you get to cultivate at this time, right? So how do you open yourself up to receive what you need to receive, you know, to connect to your divine source? What keeps you from doing so as well is something to consider. Um, is there a part of you that longs for the archetypal King of Cups here to show up and give you the love and support you could perhaps be giving yourself? So these are all the things to consider at this time. And I feel like if you consider these things, if you really tap into this and feel into what you're trying to tell yourself, what you're trying to get to, even, you know, attached to this person, what you're trying to get to, out of this or what you're trying to achieve here. It's going to give you a deeper sense of clarity, which is also going to shift with the way that you approach this person. And thus, it's also going to shift this person's approach to you. So this is all very, very crucial of those questions that I told you. So what you can contemplate here is, how do I translate your connection with your higher self into service for other beings on this planet, also service of this connection, what you can give to this person, for example, if you feel like doing that. If you don't, it's completely fine as well. And also, you, you do feel like you should contemplate what gives it, what does it feel like to listen to your heart and sort of be a messenger of that love to others, right? So basically, if I just repeat the questions that I told you before, so they land more deeply within you. How do you open yourself up to receive from your divine source is one. You can journal on that. I would be really, you know, open to doing that if I were you. Um, I love journaling, by the way. So that's just me personally. You, again, don't have to do this if you don't want to. Next question is what keeps you from doing so? What keeps you from opening yourself up and receiving from your divine source? And number three here is... Is there a part of you that longs for the archetypal king of cups to show up and give you the love and support you could be giving yourself? Are you hoping for a hero, you know, a hero to show up and be like, I'm going to solve your, your problems, but you need to be your own hero here, group number two. So that's my loving message for you guys. Hope some of this lands and resonates and allows you to shift your life for the best and in alignment with the highest good for you and for everyone involved. Remember, if it's for the highest good of you, it's also for the highest good of everyone involved and in connection with you here in alignment in any way related to your life, which is basically everyone in life, by the way. So 
With that being said, thank you so much for being here, my loves. Thank you for sharing your beautiful energy. It's been a pleasure connecting with you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below if you want to share something with me and with our beautiful community. If you want more videos, if you want to connect to the collective healing, do check out Patreon. We have collective healings going on every single week. And we also have a lot of other videos that you can tap into and get more messages, more guidance. If you feel like you're wanting to align with that, of course. So send you so much love. If you want a personal tarot reading, all the information is on my website. You can also just contact me. My email is listed down below in the comment section and in the description box, as is my website. Thank you for being here, my loves. Thank you for sharing again your beautiful, beautiful energy. It's been a pleasure connecting and I hope you have a beautiful day. See you soon in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome. If you have picked this deck, D, what's it, what's it called? Wisdom of the Hidden Realms here. And if you have picked this gorgeous flower from the orchid of our house, this is going to be a reading. So let's get into it. This reading was interesting because I took a nap after lunch today and I was actually dreaming which tarot deck to use along with this one. So very aligned. <laughs> it's very interesting. So let's see what comes out for you. And then we're going to be using the Shadowscapes Tarot because that's basically the tarot that I dreamt of for you guys. So let's see group number three here. What's going on with your person? What are the messages that are on their mind? What do they want you to know? What do they want to share with you today? So spirit for group number three, what needs to be communicated in regards to their person here. What's on their person's mind? Okay, so we're going to take the Metal King. Wow, okay, Discipline, Armor, and Boundaries. We have the Altar Priestess, Preparation, Prayer, Sacred Ritual. We have the River Queen. Wow, gorgeous. Hmm. Interesting. If your person feels very much like a go-getter. With this Metal King, it's like a go-getter energy, getting what I want. The Arrow Master is coming through next, hitting the mark, intention, detachment as well. We have the Lady of the Mirror. And one more card, please, Spirit. Thank you. We have the Wise Woman of Wonderland. Integrity and Compromise. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like overall your person has a good energy towards you. We do have the sun dancers here on the bottom of the deck, which talks about joyful activity, celebration of life and abundance. Overall, they, they feel good towards you, towards your connection. There are no strong, difficult emotions here present within this group is what I'm getting. Your person does feel like they're quite observant here. Uh, with the Metal King. I feel like you are somewhat in contact. There is there is this connection between the two of you, yet your person feels like they are still a little bit detached. You know, they have, let's say, their walls up a little bit. They are almost like sitting on their wall, looking at you, looking at what you're up to. And they do have a mask on over their face. So it is quite possible your person has not really revealed much or enough about their own life thus far, yet they are still curious about you. They are still present within your life very strongly, energetically. There is that emotional sort of attachment there from them. They, they have their armor on here with the Metal King. It feels like they are trying to protect themselves. They're trying to protect their own heart here. Um, they are also saying they don't fully know where you are standing at this time. So your person doesn't know how you feel, what you want, where you're going, what you're thinking about them. So they are a little bit unsure about your own intentions within this connection. So that's why they're also maybe being like a little bit cautious is what I'm getting here from this overall energy. They have their walls up a little bit, but it does feel like this person likes to talk to you. They like to communicate with you. They like to just, you know, be in conversation with you. Um, they don't feel like they are resisting any developments within this connection. So the altar priestess is coming through next as preparation, prayer and sacred ritual. 
that's interesting this is to me talking about just strong ma magician energy or sorceress energy it is about the power of creation it's about birthing a new idea I do feel like with this altar priestess, you're both sort of intending for something to happen in this connection and you're both intending for a certain development within this connection to take place. And that is like the intention that you both have for this connection. Thus, it is definitely going to happen. You know, it's going to lead you both together in any, in, in a certain way, basically. Yeah, it just talks about a preparation for new beginnings. So the, the intention energy is like something that, you know, um, is a prerequisite for the new beginning to take place in the physical dimension. So this feels like it's that energy. It's like you're both focusing on or putting your energy towards manifesting a new encounter a new beginning sort of seeing each other again you're both wanting this you're both curious uh is what i'm getting here as well you feel very more much um more natural more flowy more um easygoing than your person here because like they are coming through with the metal king energy while you're coming through as the river queen and you're in much more flow you are in more in a more natural movement towards this connection your person might be still you know with those walls up sort of looking over the wall being like okay what's on the other side well you are more like the energy of water you flow you you go with things you go with the flow you go with what comes your way uh, at least that's how they are perceiving you at this time but also energetic you feel energetically you feel much more sort of easy much more fluid uh in a much more feminine energy as well here um, you feel like water, but you know, you almost like you, you take it in and you flow with it type of energy. Um, your person also does see you as someone alluring here. This mermaid energy is also reminding me of that like bit of a siren vibe, you know, someone very alluring, someone very attractive, someone very mysterious. So your person does consider you to be quite a mysterious character in their own lives, which is why they're also you know, attracted to you. I do feel like this person overall has a knack towards being attracted to the mysterious, to the alluring, to the elusive energy, especially elusive people in their own lives. It's something that sort of gives them a, a, an interesting a sort of spin in their own lives. Next, we have the arrow master. So hitting the mark, intention, detachment. This is how your person is coming through, hitting the mark. They want to hit the mark. They want to get to know you better. They want to continue this. You know, they have this eye on you. You know, they're very focused on you. It's a strong masculine energy of focus here, especially like with the arrow. They are mastering their masculinity here with the arrow is what's coming through here as well. And they have intention, which is what I talked about here as well. But at the same time, they are a little bit detached. You know, they, they are maybe looking at this connection from a more detached perspective not fully from observer perspective but from a more detached emotional perspective mm, it feels like they know what they want in terms of the physical you know they want to get to know you better they do want to have physical relations with you they, they just want to sort of see what can come out of this connection so they are very curious but i feel like this person has not thought this connection all the way through emotionally so emotionally they are not as um eloquent let's say or as forward thinking they just want to sort of get to know you better so they're more focused on the physical for example getting together talking to you getting to know each other better um and so on so they're not really you know emotionally feeling into the connection so the lady of the mirror is coming through next reflection non-judgment with this one i feel like you are mirroring each other a little bit in terms of energies so i feel like 
whether you it is possible you are representing of representing <laughs> what is that uh representing group number three uh the feminine energy and your person is representing the masculine energy here with these two almost like these two are the masculine these two are the feminine uh so or it's vice versa or sometimes it's also like you're both in the same energetic spectrum and through this dance you are learning is what spirit is saying you're learning about where to be where you want to land with your own energy and your person is learning where they want to land with their own energy what they resonate with the most what they resonate with you know in their core in their own being what they want to become here in this connection we have integrity here and compromise the wise woman of wonderland here it feels like you know it's all going to come together because you're both sooner or later going to find your own balance where you want to land on this spectrum you know where you want to land in this natural flow movement and when your person wants to land with their boundaries and you're going to also realize through this whole dance with your person where you want to land with your boundaries and how much flow do you want to be in you know so it's all about sort of finding that sort of really authentic energy in which you are feeling that this is your structure this is your being this is who you are this is your integrity you know and it's almost like a compromise even though this compromise this more like it feels more like balance finding a balance but a compromise can also be a word to describe this. It's almost like a compromise of where you want to find yourself on an energetic spectrum within this connection. You know, how much feminine energy do you want to hold? How much masculine energy do you want to hold? And I feel like right now there is this dance happening between the two of you. We have the sun dancers here, yeah, actually. Um, the sun dancers, where do you want to land? You know, where are you landing in the physical in regards to this energy? What suits you? And as you find your balance, your person is going to find their own balance that matches your own. Here. Okay, dog. So let's see now what wants to come through with the tarot. So spirit, let's see. So we have gorgeous shadowscape tarot here. What's going on? For group number three, we have the seven of pentacles. Your person is seeing the fruits of this labor. Let's say um, it's not yet ready for eating. It's not yet ready to be plucked, but it's still growing. They are seeing the results take place. They are seeing developments within this connection. Whatever these developments mean for them, you know, for example, just seeing you around uh, just sort of being in contact with you every now and then they're seeing there is some movement forward at least for them it feels like it's a movement forward we have the nine of swords coming through reversed which feels like there is maybe just this energy of wanting to let go of any burdensome activity wanting to let go of um, hyper analyzing or hyper attuning to certain energies wanting to be more sort of relaxed in the flow letting go of anxiety this person also wants to let go of uh, the activities that have possibly led to their burnout on some level i am tapping into the burnout energy so it is possible this person might have put too much activity towards a certain aspect of their own life which has led them to be tired and exhausted and sort of drained so it, it does feel like they're just trying to reorganize, restructure their own life situation right now so that it encapsulates and sort of corresponds better with what they want, you know, what they want to, what they want their life to be and how they want to live. So they're really turning to their head towards the light towards the portal of the light here we have the ten of cups coming through next so they want to be in harmony with you basically this is this is like the end result end result they are feeling very connected to you just with this card it feels like there is harmony between the two they feel it is there they feel it maybe in your conversations whenever they're around you there is a certain energy around you that just makes them feel like this is it this, this is this is what life's about type of energy you know this is the joy this is like that idyllic home 
life that really resonates with their own idea of it, you know. It doesn't have to be a family life. It can just be this beautiful harmony and love that is shared between the two of you. There feels like there is harmony of the heart and the mind here between the two of you as well. There is, again, just with this energy, this beautiful dance that's happening between the two of you. This beautiful dance between flow and boundaries is what I'm getting here. The moon. There is still some uncertainty here. And interesting, look at this picture. This person or this character, they're looking at the mask. They're looking at that mask. And this is just calling me back to this card, you know, your person having their mask on still. But in this card, they're like flirting with it. They're being like, hmm, do you want to still wear it? On what occasions do I want to wear this mask? On what occasions do I want to take it out? There feels like there is still some uncertainty here present in regards to where they want to move forward. Yet it feels like it's it's becoming more and more clear. It feels like this person is walking out of the forest and their whole world is beginning to be illuminated by their own intuition, by their gut feeling. I feel like they're beginning to trust their gut, trust their intuition a lot more, and possibly you are as well, group number three. Because there's again mirroring here. So if you do resonate with anything that I talk about your person, it's just a mirroring of energies. Okay, so they're feeling the same as you in these circumstances. Anything else here? Yeah, they are also just sort of recognizing, deciding to what extent do they want to be um sharing to do what extent do they want to be truthful to what extent do they want to be authentic with you and to what extent do they want to still sort of put on the mask and be a little bit hidden behind that mask pisces energy is coming through very strongly here so let's see what else. That's sort of dreamy contemplative energy. Your person feels like they are thinking a lot. They're very contemplative. And they are seeing a birth of a new era here with the world. I feel like this, this is basically the old cycle ending, the new cycle between the two of you beginning. The card also does indicate travel. So it is possible your person is thinking about traveling recently or they're thinking about traveling with you. Or they're just thinking about just doing interesting new things this this is the energy of newness newness coming in new energy new explorations the three of pentacles is coming through as well it's possible some of you sort of collaborate with this person in some way some of you might work with them um or are in other ways connected to them through projects and so on, maybe through your uh, friend group as well. doesn't have to be, but this card is coming through also to indicate this person wants to collaborate with you. They want to work with you. They want to endeavor on sort of, sort of contributing the world, contributing to the world together. Um, there's this sort of energy of really wanting to collaborate on something that's important to the two of you, sort of putting your energy together to create something greater than the two of you, or maybe even inviting in other people. It feels like they want to work towards something with you here. We have the four of wands and they want deeper stability. They want to move towards this deeper stability we have the four of wands along with the chariot which is just letting me know that this person really wants a deeper commitment here the chariot the cards are very very similar it's like running towards it running towards that dream um wanting and intending for it to manifest they are definitely very willful very oriented towards getting this prize and it feels like they are sort of riding on joy to get there. I, I just feel like this is, this is this energy of companionship celebration that they are intending to move towards with you. So they're basically moving towards, intending towards 
a deeper structure, a more solid structure between the two of you. They're also intending towards a possibly deepening the relationship between the two of you, you know, getting more familiar with you, getting to know you better. Um, this also does indicate to me the energy of getting your relationship to the next level, you know, for example, if you are friends, this person might want to ask you to be their partner in some way. If you are already sort of committed, they want to ask you for something more. Um, or if you're, you know, strangers, they might ask you for a drink or ask you to go out or just deepen the bond between the two of you, deepen that intimacy and transform your connection towards something a little bit more stable. They are definitely intending to move ahead. They want to take the next step towards this stability, sort of stabilizing the connection and making it more um, solid, you know, more, more <laughs> explicit in, in both of your minds. They feel very mentally in control here as well and sort of very balanced in taking this next step. We have here a Cancer energy showing up as well for you guys. So a lot of um, the energy of water. So yes, wanting union, wanting to have tangible results with you, so to speak. So let's see anything else. Spirit's not really saying that I should take more cards. So I'm not going to. It, it does feel like we have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So there is something this person is still deciding on. They're still deciding on which road to take, which road to go down on. Hmm. They, they are a little bit unsure here with that energy of the moon. They're still a little bit unsure where exactly they land with you. But I don't, I don't feel like there is, you know, much of a problematic here. It doesn't feel like it's problematic at all. So, what else? Just like a little thing they need to figure out internally for themselves. So we're just going to get two or three keywords just to see what wants to come through. Shadow work, love, and self-trust. Okay, beautiful. So your person is here focusing on shadow work a little bit, whatever that means. Shadow work is basically just awareness work. So they're trying to gain awareness of what fits, what doesn't fit for them. It's really that simple. It's just wanting to broaden their perspective, understand themselves better. There is nothing too deep that they are doing or too sort of controversial or weird. It's just you know, getting deeper awareness of themselves and connecting themselves more with love. This person is in alignment with love. They feel love towards you. They feel companionship. When it comes to you, they just feel accepted, loved by you here. Um, and they're focused on love between the two of you, sort of making more love, creating more love between the two of you. Very beautiful energy. We have self-trust, trusting themselves to make the right choice. So that's also the two of swords here, trusting themselves to make the right choice in alignment with their love, love of self and love of the other. The other here being like the, the otherness of the world, you, everything else that is in relation to the world. Just a very beautiful, sort of aligned, soft, gorgeous, loving energy here. So yeah, focusing on self-trust, trusting themselves to make the right choice, trusting themselves to do what is right for them and for other people, other beings involved, and always just focusing on love and coming from a space of love. So Spirit, what else? I feel like they're also doing shadow work just in line with the, these two to gain awareness of what really is the most self-loving thing and the most loving thing towards others that they can do. Okay, so what are the messages here? For group number three, please, Spirit, what else are the messages? What does their person want to share? Are you into me too? So they are curious about your intentions. They want to know about you a little bit more. What are you into? What are you interested in? When it comes to this connection, they might really just come out and explicitly ask you about these things. 
So I am grateful for you. What else, Spirit? I'm trying hard not to show you how much I care. So they are definitely holding that mask, sort of withholding a little bit. What else? I am, whoa, I am hopeful for the future. So very positive, beautiful energy. Very hopeful for the future. Let's see what else comes out for you guys. Let's see what else. Oh, wow. Okay, you're missing from my life. So they are noticing that you maybe haven't been around as much. We have what do you want here on the bottom. So what do you want? Okay, so it wants to come out. What do you want? Is, is what this person is asking themselves. You are magnetic. So you're very attractive to them. Let's see what else here. I have a lot of unexpressed feelings for you, so they've definitely not expressed enough. Let's see what else we have here. I want to take care of you. So again, very beautiful, soft energy here. I think like the only thing that's really tripping this person up here is what do you want? And I feel like this is also in relation to this two of swords. Like, what do you want? Where do you want to go? Um, you know, what's going on? You're so attractive is on the bottom of the deck. And with this being said, let's just get to you guys, group number three, some guidance. We're using the Sufi Tarot. And we're just going to get one card of guidance for you guys, okay? So let's see. Spirit, please, for group number three, what's their guidance today? What's the guidance for group number three here? What do they need to know or hear or align with today? Okay, nine of cups, beautiful. So aligning with love, aligning with joy, aligning with co-creation, aligning with the beautiful energy of the world and also with joy, aligning with, with wishes fulfilled, aligning with your soul tribe here as well. So basically nine of cups, what does spirit want here? It's often called um, the wish card, this one, and it does connote fulfillment and contentment. Okay, so everything's going right. Spirit wants you to know you are being rewarded and you're going to be enjoying the fruits of your efforts very, very soon. Okay, you have shown that you have worked hard and placed your desires at the altar of the divine. So you have shown, you have surrendered, you are in the flow and you are ready to just bring this whole thing towards personal and spiritual completion. You are aligning with the energy of your dreams coming true here with this one as well. Okay, so basically with the nine of cups, the energy as you're being guided to a complete state of embodiment through self-knowledge in which you delve into the depths of who you really are with that integrity there and what you truly wish for with that sort of manifestational energy that, that we had as well. So you are being encouraged, group number three, to focus on the fulfillment of your true self right now, to unfold your being and unapologetically connect with your heart's desire, to basically live in the wish fulfilled, okay? to accept with gratitude, basically the fulfillment of all your wishes. So divine, beautiful energy of guidance. This card is basically just telling you everything is working out precisely as planned. Everything's working out in divine order for you guys right? If you want to delve deeper, if some of you are, you know, seekers, want to go deep, there are some questions here related that you can also contemplate on. So you can contemplate on um, how do you believe desire connects with spiritual progress, for example. You can also contemplate on what associations do you have with your own wish fulfilled? And also getting clearer on what is this wish fulfillment that you are edging towards. Okay, so that being said, that's all they have for you. Thank you so much, my loves, for being here. It was an honor and a pleasure connecting with you today. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, share, like this video if you haven't. 
and also of course if you want a tarot reading from me a personal one where you connect to your own individual energy do let me know contact me through my email my email is listed down below you can also check out the prices and everything else that i offer on my website the website is in the description box below and also in the pinned comment below this video so make sure to check that out as well if you want to connect to more videos to more content check out the patreon community we have weekly healings going on on patreon as well if any of you are interested in doing that with us also so sending you so much love and see you soon in the next video bye